great, but can you... what? The design needs to be more spicy, it needs to be done by the end of today, it needs to look a bit better? And this here is why developers can never rest, because we're always asked to design stuff. So let's see what we can do to improve our design skills by trying to make this client site a little bit better. And so the website that we're looking at today is Toki Tech. This was submitted on the Enhanced UI website, which you can do as well if you're interested in me reviewing one of your designs. But let's actually pull this into Figma to see what we can do to improve this design. And so some of the first things you might notice is the fact that this text, for example, is too small and difficult to read. Or another thing is that the contrast on this button is also just not accessible. Or even if we scroll down here, some of this grid layout, well, it simply doesn't look like a grid because things are misaligned, as well as some items having two lines for buttons, whereas others have a single line. Some even have an icon, whereas some do not. So we're gonna go through and try and fix this all up so it's consistent, because that's what you wanna have when you're doing a good design. I wanna start off with this background image. It's a nice image, but it's absolutely overwhelming. It's taking away from the text over here, it's taking away from the menu, and it's taking away from some of the buttons here here as well because of the fact that the colors are just standing out so much. One thing we can do is take it away completely. When we do, suddenly all the text and all the content on this hero section just stands out a lot more. Now of course some people want to add images so we can always bring it back but instead of having it so saturated we can reduce the opacity to 20%. So then we get a bit of the dark background coming through as well as the image there in the background too and you can still see the text quite clearly. The other thing is we have this menu and the opacity on this menu right now is I think only 30%. It's not very much. Personally, I feel like it doesn't make the menu stand out as much as it could. So we could increase the opacity just to 100% so that it's completely solid and it stands out a lot more. Or we could reduce it to 85% or maybe say, let's see, 50%. And that way the menu still stands out with all the text, but it's not so subtle that you almost can't see it. Another thing I like to do sometimes is to do a linear gradient for the menu. And this way you almost can't see the menu, but it still allows the text to stand out. So let's actually do that and put 100% opacity. And I think that looks the best out of all the options so far. The next thing we can do is have a look at the menu items here themselves. Personally, I think they're a little bit too small. So what I would do is actually make them a little bit bigger here. Uh, and we can do this just by resizing them. And you can also see that some of the spacing here is a little bit off. So what I'll do is I'll just align them. And I believe the fonts are even off a little bit as well. And just set them to all be a font size of 20. So let's do that just over here. And then also align them with about 10 pixels spacing between each one. So let's actually do this manually over here. And as I put in the spacing or 20 pixels, you can see that they're just snapping into place, which is absolutely perfect. And we should be able to change this later on as well if we wanted to have more spacing for them. Great, I think that's much better now. And we can almost align this to the right of our column, which is sort of at 1443. It's a difficult area to be around, but what I might do is just put in a marker here at 1443, just to make sure that all of our content sort of ends just over at this marker. This way, later on, when we're filling out the content here, like this line, we might just adjust it here to 1443. Um, we make sure that all our content ends at this marker. We can do the same for the left hand side here. So let's actually pull this in a little bit. And for this logo here, now between the font size of the menu and the logo, we can see the logo is too small. So what I'm gonna do is make this logo bold and then make it a little bit bigger. Not something I often do, but I definitely want this to be larger than the menu in this case, because it's going to be sort of the introduction to this page. We have another welcome message here that we can get into. And this welcome message, I'm also gonna bold, but seeing that we now have a logo, we almost don't need a welcome to Tokyo Tech. I would almost remove that. I would just type in welcome, and then here I would go straight into the website content itself. So I would remove this line, maybe even put it below, and have something like by domains, hosting, or a website. So let's actually make that the key sentence underneath and let's actually expand the sizing of that so that it ends up being sort of the introduction to this. Now again, welcome here is the largest piece of text but it's not as important as buying a domain, hosting or website. 
So I would almost remove all of that and then go domain hosting and website being the main item here that's the largest in size and that's also bolded and then reduce the welcome down because that's almost a secondary phrase. So let's actually reduce the size of this, put it centered again and then make the size of this much larger. So there, I think that is a good balance to strike now. So now when we land on this page, we immediately can tell this is for domain hosting and websites. And then we've got our welcome here, which almost we can put underneath or maybe we can put on top, but I feel like we could reduce the opacity of that to maybe 66% or we could even put in the secondary color here that we're using, uh, which is the sort of the this color. I'm not too sure if that works as a color, but we can come back to that. Personally, if I was going to pick color, I would pick something stronger like this pinky purple color because I think that sort of stands out a lot more. So what I'm going to do is for each one of these elements that previously had this brown color, I'm going to turn it to this purple color and I'm also going to bold it for any important sections and that way they should definitely stand out more. Now I'm going to do this over here as well. Let's pull that in and immediately the white text that we had previously that was difficult to read is now easier to read as a byproduct of having that stronger saturated color. Let's remove the outline on this section here. And for this line, let's update that color as well. And now I think we have something that blends into the background image. We've got a better focus here on what this section is doing. And we've also got the buttons that are standing out a little bit better here, which I might move underneath this section with about the same amount of padding between the line and the welcome and the hosting section together. So I think that's much better now. Uh, the only other thing I can think of here is to fix up the spelling. So let's do that now. Contact us, uh, learn how, and then YouTube, I guess. I think that's more or less okay for this hero section. Uh, we could almost break the line of this hero section with a strong color like this, or we could even put the strong color above. Um, personally, I might put it below or even we could put it off to the side here, which I am not doing very well. Here we go. Um, and this way we can put a little bit more focus in on the text itself. And this can be sort of like, I suppose, like a background border. Uh, I haven't done one of these before, but I just want to have a bit more focus on the center there. And I think this applies it quite well. Great. So this is our hero section more or less done. We can move on to the services next. And for the services, uh, what I'm thinking is that this text here, it's much too small to signify a new section. So I'm almost going to move this welcome section here below and rename this as our services. And because this is so much of a stronger color in comparison to what we had before, it almost stands out. So I think just using that is enough to make it work. Now, 14 pixels here, I feel is too small for the text. So I'm going to increase this to 18 pixels and we'll just give it a little bit more spacing here between our content and our header. And I think that more or less moves this onto the next section here quite well. Now, this next section here, what I'm thinking is that we probably can reuse the styling that we have, generally speaking, on this content. But what I want to do is sort of make sure that it's consistent. So I'm going to move this down to the bottom left. I'm just going to grab one of these buttons. I'm going to use that primary color we've set here and set that as the color, not the uh, the line there. Uh, so we've got by domain. I'm also going to make this by domain a bold font and I'm going to center it here and give it a little bit of more padding on the left and the right hand side. And for these sections here, I'm going to make them a little bit darker too, sort of similar to the background color that we're using here for our header, while this text can remain more or less the same. And finally, for the image here with the icon, this doesn't have enough contrast. So I'm going to also make this much darker. And I think that works quite well. The outline here, we could try a couple of different colors. We could try the purple and we could have the purple here as the middle item and the all the other other items could be regular color if we're trying to make one stand out. But I think we can keep the same sort of a box here, just add a little bit of a border radius to it. And I think that should be enough to make it work. So let's actually put a border radius of 15 pixels here. And I think that's more or less it. 
Let's move all of these a little bit more to the side. I'm also going to give this a little bit more spacing here so that everything can be padded in quite well without being overwhelming. Uh, and later, it'll also give us a bit more room for some of the content if there's more content in one of these sections as opposed to another section. Uh, and finally, I'll just center it here in the middle. And I think that's more or less it for this section here too. So that's nicely done. We can copy this across and we can put in this one here, which is the second one. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, apply for four. So let's put that in and use the same styling. And we can paste all of these things in to fill out the content. Let's copy this across one more time. Now what we'll notice is that some of the spacing wasn't perfect before, but now we've got 30 pixels perfectly between each one of these, which I think is a much better way to do it. We could also change these icons. Now I'm going to leave them the same for the time being, but let's also do 30 pixels here from the top and put in this next one. Now here's almost too much. So I suppose I'm going to do course to learn HTML, CSS. Sometimes it's important to reduce the amount of text you have, because if you have too much text, then it just might not fit in well. But we did give it a bit more space this time around while keeping everything consistent. So what I'm going to do is just leave it more or less with that extra bit of space and just center it a little bit nicer so that it all fits in. Great. We only have two more here to go. So let's actually copy these across. We can get rid of this. We can get rid of this. So I'm quite happy with this section and I think we can zoom out now to have a look at where we've gotten to as well as where we came from from our design. Now let's actually put them back to back to have a look at the comparison here. And the first thing you'll notice is that previously this website here, while the header was overwhelming, we also didn't really know what Toki Tech was doing. We just said welcome to Toki Tech with a contact us. Now we can have a look at the main hero text here being domains, hosting and website. This is much more clear, both in the text, the sizing, as well as the contrast of this text to the image. This is why I think it's so important to put priority first on what you're trying to showcase. The menu is also a lot more clear than previous where it was sort of hiding in the background, but we also have this strong call to action color, this pink purple text that I think, or this pink purple button that I think works a lot better than previously. This design now carries across to the next section much more clearly with the same sort of color and sizing from our welcome to our services, whereas previously the services seemed a little bit too small to work correctly. The next thing you'll notice is this section here with all these services that are being provided. Previously, they were a little bit of a jumble and it was difficult to read what's happening and where is the title and where is the button. Whereas now we've got a perfect grid structure and this grid has an equal size of padding from the top to the bottom, as well as a strong weighted title and a strong color for selecting, which is all in a single line. And I think that's the most important thing just to keep everything consistent because it looks a lot more professional. Now you get to see what just about five to 10 minutes can make in terms of an impact on the design of a website. And this is why I always place so much importance on the design of a website because it can lead you to selling better priced websites as well as helping you get a promotion. And it just makes a website look a lot more professional. Now, if you guys want to learn more, check out my enhanced UI website and submit your own designs if you want me to review them. Otherwise, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.